People with diabetes have to keep track of their blood sugar levels, usually by pricking their finger with a needle. But what if there were a way to monitor glucose blood-free? A professor at National Taiwan Normal University has built a breath detector that can assess the level of blood glucose in the body by measuring the amount of carbon dioxide. The machine is still in an early stage of development, but it holds out promise for a painless way to manage diabetes. Blow into the tube and in just three minutes, the machine is able to detect the content of carbon dioxide and residual oxygen in the body, which can be used to estimate blood sugar levels. This is not an alcohol breathalyzer, but a non-invasive blood glucose monitor. It works because there's a correlation between a carbon dioxide concentration and blood sugar concentration in the blood. If someone is healthy, about an hour to two hours after eating, their carbon dioxide level will return to a normal state. The carbon dioxide content will drop, and the blood sugar should also drop. If the carbon dioxide does not drop, it means there may be something wrong. We have tested patients using a regular glucose monitoring device, and with this method, it's pretty accurate. This detector was developed over the course of 10 years by Lin Zhenghuang, an analytical chemistry professor at NTNU. His team hopes the device can eventually be used to screen people at risk of diabetes. It can also be developed into an at-home test kit for diabetics or into a screening system for other diseases. There are actually many lung diseases related to a high concentration of carbon dioxide Oxide. Because respiration is a very essential chemical reaction. It's called the cellular respiration. You need, any uh, cell co consists of your body need oxygen. But mo by monitoring oxygen uh, uh, absorption and the emission of CO2, that's a good indicator of your health, bodies, or activity of uh, Organ. The developers have run tests on about a dozen people so far and are now looking to expand their trials to enhance the accuracy of the device. For most of news, Stephanie Yang, Lu Bochong in Taipei.